are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. So what does the screen actually do? Uh, what, what mass is it doing under the hood? Well, you can see we've got two constants here. And again, it, it's the best way to test this maths out. Just put two constants in, set it to different numbers that you, you know, and then put it uh, through the merge node, get it to do that math operation, and then look at the result and try and work out how it actually got there. And that's what we're gonna be doing today with that screen operation. So you can see here, we've got 0 0.3 in the red channel, and we've got 0 0.25 in the red channel in this, op in this input and we're getting to 0.475. So how is it actually getting there? So here's what it's actually doing under the hood. Let's copy our inputs. And first of all, what it's doing is it's inverting the value. So if we put invert, two invert nodes, one here, one here. And what an invert's doing is it's doing one minus the number. So for instance, if I get my calculator up, and do 1 minus 0.25 we get 0.75 so we look here 0.75 1 minus 0.75 is 0.25 so that's what we get and then 1 minus 0.8 is 0.2 so that's all it's doing it's doing a 1 minus the number and that can kind of screw things up if you've got negative values and you're inverting and things it kind of gives you weird results which is always why you kind of want to keep between that um, zero and one ideally and why you're never really going to invert anything other than an alpha generally um, and and this invert node is kind of built around that because you always want to keep your alphas between zero and one so that's what it's doing at first and then what it's doing is it's multiplying these two values together so now it's taking this red value and this red value and multiplying them together now anything multiplied by something less than one will make it smaller right so something multiplied by 0 0.5 is going to half it so if i do 20 multiplied by 0 0.5 that's going to give me 10. there we go so it, it, it's exactly that so it, it's basically going to always give you a smaller number if you're multiplying anything by less than one when you multiply something by zero it's just going to give you zero which in the visual space is black and one is white so what we're going to do is multiply these together then 0.7 multiply 0.75 is this value and let's just do the math quickly so i can prove it to you that nuke's doing some not doing some sort of like black magic under the hood times 0.75 0 0.525, 0 0.525, perfect. And it's doing that for every single one. So it's doing the green channel with the green channel, the blue channel with the blue channel. And then we get that. Now, if we compare these two, we're still not there, right? We're still not there. Some of you may have spotted what it is, but we're still not at that number of 0 0.475. So how do we get there from this? Well, we just then just put another invert in. All it's doing is then inverting afterwards. And now we get exactly the same result for each. The alpha's changing slightly, that's that's fine, that's something else, but there you go, that, that's what we're getting. So that's all the screen's doing. It's not that complicated, right? It's doing an invert, a multiply, and then an invert. And this is why you shouldn't ever screen over, if you've got lighting, any lighting you're gonna be putting over your image, you should never screen it, because the math is just all wrong. You should always plus it, light is additive. So you should always go for a plus. And this is why as well, a screen is great for merging different alphas if you need to, because this will ensure your alpha channel never goes above one. If I were to plus two alphas together, let's make two circles, the alpha. So we've got two alphas here. If we plus these together, You can see we've got one here in the alpha. As we go close, we now get two because we plus them together. So this is an issue most guys have when they're starting out. They plus alphas together. It all looks okay. And then actually the numbers are wrong because you always want to make sure that alpha is between zero and one. So if I were to set this to a screen, it's going to always ensure that it's always between zero and one because it's, it's just going to do invert the one of each, which is going to give you zero. 
and then multiply them together and then invert them again. So there's no additive process going on. So it can never go above, above the initial number. So there you go. So that's what the screen is doing. And that's why it's so useful when you're merging those alpha channels.